Good morning, everybody. Look who I got with me today. It is Steampunk Steve. I don't know why he keeps coming by. I love this guy. <laughs> it's a bromance thing. It's true. I'm happy he's here because today I'm going to install a signal booster that WeBoost sent me. It is a WeBoost Drive 4GX. This one is kind of the uh, trucker model. Um, you know, I figure my bus is more of a truck than it is a motorhome, even though it is livable, but, you know, just kind of like more badass and stuff. Steve and I are uh, determining a good location for the WeBoost on the driver side. Uh, I just happen to think that more trees would be on the passenger side, so we're actually using a different mount than what came with this. So, step one, put this through these extensions. So, this is one of the extension uh, pieces. You run the wire through it, and then you put a little bit of uh, this blue thread lock which comes with it. Part of step one is determining how many extensions you're gonna have. And I'm gonna take a wild guess and say I should probably get a second extension. If you put the second extension on, it'll be there. Ugh. I wish there was a medium size. All right, so guys, what you should know is that um, there is a side exit for the wire and then there's a spring. So that's gonna add something like six to eight inches. So right now he's holding it in a position where it would possibly be and I'm thinking that's better than having an extra foot up it's above the top of the bus true so it's gonna get it'll get signal from all the way around absolutely that's right you really need you don't need it to be up any higher because you're not trying to peer over a mountain you're just trying to peer over the bus this is what it, it actually tells you in the instructions here we got 17 inches uh, with the unit itself and this is what I was talking about, antenna spring, that's an optional thing. So we're going to use that because that's an extra like three and a half inches. We have it set to 32 inches. 32 and 45, that's a pretty big uh, gap. And then here is uh, how it should, uh, you know, come together. Long story short, the instructions are amazing. Something that's not super obvious in this kit is that these are optional parts. I thought you had to use both or could use both, and I think you can use both. Uh, the spring is meant so that the cable goes down through it, okay? This is meant to have the cable come out the side, um, just like that is shown right there. Uh, I personally think the uh, spring is a better idea, just in case I hit something on the road. Um, but we were thinking to double them up for a little extra height, and I don't think we're going to do that. Okay, what I did next is I attached the spring with the wire coming out, and I fed it through the hole in the mount. I decided to talk this out because you need to figure out when you're doing this how you're gonna install it as well, so maybe this will help. So, we did steps one, two, and three. Step four is mount the antenna, uh, inside antenna, either on the side of the seat with some Velcro, like that, I'm not really sure. Keeping uh, in mind, these are instructions for use in a semi. Yes, yeah. Which, a smaller cabin than what you've got. So you've got multiple possibilities here. Right, or vehicle dash. I like the vehicle dash idea, because I could mount it like this, or I could mount it right here, and maybe that would help with the amp amplification of the, the, the boost. So I'm thinking either one of these two spots. The next step, uh, I'm getting down under the dash because Steve is going to feed me the uh, the wire for the inside antenna perfect now I got it because uh, we're going to mount the uh, drive unit right here next step I deviated from their instructions a little bit I'm deciding to use a little uh, self uh, double sided sticky tape I'm just going to put this up here and uh, hope for the best Let's see, I know it's a little tricky spot there. All right, that almost grabbed itself to the uh, to the metal there. That's how strong the adhesive is. Here's the next step. I know uh, it is bright outside, um, and so the light's a little hard to see. But here's the unit mounted with the uh, Velcro and all that fun stuff. I don't know why. Just I mean, in case you need to take it off, I suppose. Um, so yeah, we just have it ran down there. 
we'll tidy up some wires. The next step is to run in the exterior cable through the dash, which is always fun. So the next step is to feed the wires through your dash or vehicle. See, I got it right there. It went through. Sometimes you have to take off little interior panels, part of the dash. But it's pretty easy. And what's nice, you're going to only have to pull as enough wire to get to that and then leave the rest of the excess wire coiled up underneath the uh, where the we access through. Yeah. yeah. Alright, next step you put on this uh, silver and brass mail-to-mail uh, -mail connector and then you just plug it right into the unit and screw it in. Let me just run through the next step that we did. Ugh. Is uh, we ran the power through the dash I have a question for you. and we cut we cut off the cord there well this isn't in the instructions but we are wiring in hard wiring the power and uh, you guys will be proud of me because I did all the work here I have uh, Steve as my witness so anyways <laughs> so we got it hardwired in and the last thing to do is just to uh, plug this ow that sparked me uh, plug this thing in <laughs> Is that a good sign? Is it, it well, it means you got power. <laughs> it sparked me, so. Let's touch it to your tongue, see how much power there no, is. No, we don't want to do that. The last part is to get it in the hole. There we go. The unit's on. And uh, so I had two bars LTE. Wow, look at that. You can already see that another bar, it went up by a bar here. And um, yeah, so we're we're cooking here. And mine? Yeah, let's see what yours does. Mine was three bars of 3G, still is, but it was the 1X. Oh, it just went up to four bars. Yep. So we're, you know, and the 1X shot up to five. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, guys, it does boost it. Whoa, I just got four bars. So it might take a, a little second to kick in, but it doubled my bars. I have full, full bars. Check your phone again because it may have boosted it too. Uh, four bars, 3G at this point, but... Yeah. But it's also, we have totally different phones. Yeah. Steve's has uh, some, I don't even know what those things are, some antiques. It's called a flip phone, and it's only two years old. You can still buy these. It's not a brick. Just a little uh, test. Um, again, this uh, depends on the proximity to a tower. Depends on your device. Depends on many factors. But I just ran a speed test with the device on. As you can see, I will unplug it, and we'll do the same test. If I can get that thing out of here. It's a little hard to reach. There we go. All right, let's test again. And as you guys saw before, it was 30 and uh, 16. Let's keep it about the same height in the bus here. All right, so we are at 22. And the upload is significantly less. <laughs> I mean, wow, look at that. So, like I said, uh, the signal booster does work, uh, but it does depend on a, a lot of factors. And we boost, um, here we are, we're back down to two to two to three bars, depending on where I'm positioned in the bus. We boost's uh, mantra, just so you guys know, is that, if I can find it, it was basically saying that, um, it is not, oh here it is, right here. Signal bars can be inaccurate. Signal boost is best measured in how much better you can communicate than before. So like I just showed you here on the speed test, significant boost, um, but depends on many real world things. So I want to thank Steampunk Steve for stopping by, giving me a hand. Um, One last time. <laughs> I think it was more moral support because you know, the bus is uh, taking a bit longer than I thought. Um, he, thank prom you. he promised me a week. A week, he <laughs> said it'd be done. I just want to thank WeBoost for uh, generously sending me a unit. Uh, full disclosure, they provided this unit. I had previously used a WeBoost uh, product before, and I absolutely love it. I gave it to my buddy Dean, the schoolie. Uh, it, it, it works well. This is the one of the top-of-the-line kits, and... Um, and it does work better than the previous uh, uh, device where I had to actually sit 
my unit in it. This is, is broadcasting the signal. It's repeating it and broadcasting it in, in here. So you just have to be close to it and uh, can handle multiple units at a time. So check them out. We boost. Highly recommend. Yes. All kidding aside, I'm really impressed with how easy this was to install. And on my little uh, classic flip, flow, flip phone, um, this boosted it instantly for me. Uh, I'm really impressed with this unit. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, special video, as you know. And um, check out uh, the next video coming because we're actually going to make a new video right now.